Hi, this is for June 2018, Scorpio. Scorpio, this is your June 2018. Okay. Oh, got the devil card popped out upright. All right, one minute. June 2018, Scorpio. What can we expect for Scorpio for June 2018? Scorpio, hearts of the matter. Hearts. Okay, Scorpio, it seems that June is going to be all about um, interpersonal skills. Your feelings, your health, your emotions. Um, Scorpio, it's also going to be a time about relationships. Um, it's also going to be a you time. June is going to be spent on you, Scorpio. Um, Scorpio 2, where your health is concerned, your health and your heart. Um, please <clears throat> be sure if you were having any type of shortness of breath or heart issues, chest issues, breathing issues, uh, pain issues, agita, angina, any of that. I am not a doctor. Please seek medical attention as soon as possible. Also, too, when I pick up heart, that also could be a broken heart. Your emotions, past hurt, things that happened from the past, still affecting your present, which creates a problem with trust. Okay. Um, also, too, um, I pick up on the bottom of the deck is the judgment card. So the judgment card is a reflection card. So, reviewing things that happened in your past, uh, reviewing old relationships, reviewing past situations, reviewing the way that you handled certain things, Scorpio, or the way someone handled things. This could also be about the other person. So, whichever way it applies to you, so be it. Um, I also pick up uh, an awakening and uh, renewing. So some of you Scorpios are going to try to work on your relationships. Some of you are going to try to create a new. <clears throat> some of you are going to try a different angle, a different approach with a person that is in your life. Um, some of you uh, are going to try a different approach against yourself, meaning that <clears throat> if you normally wear your hair to the left, you might wear it to the right. Uh, some Scorpios are changing their hairstyle. Uh, some that are darker want to go lighter. Uh, some that are lighter want to throw some dark shades in it. Highs and low lights. Highs and low lights. I picked that up. Also, Scorpio, please be aware. Uh, guided message coming through that car. A car on the side of the road. Your car breaks down. It's on the side of the road. Uh, needs to be towed. Uh, something may come up with that. So please make sure your car is in good shape before you go out to leave for a certain uh, appointment or whether it's for work. Um, also, too, I'm getting that um, your main focus is going full speed ahead where work is concerned, <clears throat> where job is related. Um, I'm also picking up uh, changes at work. Uh, lately, you've been kind of not that into it, uh, not really wanting to be there, just clocking in, clocking out, getting it done as fast as you can and leaving, um, even leaving before you're supposed to leave. Um, Scorpio, don't do that. You'll lose your job. Uh, although I know right now your job is not one of your biggest concerns, it feels like you have more on your plate right now, Scorpio, that you're trying to deal with, but you do need to keep that balance. You do need to keep that income. So, Scorpio, if you're slacking off at work, don't do it. Straighten up. Uh, Scorpio is also uh, showing uh, a relationship with someone uh, for some of you Scorpios, it is a very good relationship. It is uh, working towards stability. It is also um, have it also has increased communication right now. I also get that there is some balance coming in for Scorpio with a relationship. Scorpio is also returning back uh, to both a fire and an air sign. Why I picked that up, I don't know. Uh, but fire and an air sign, Scorpio. Scorpio, especially with Libra. That's where your heart is, Scorpio. That's who you love. 
you love the, that Libra, and that's for one of you or some of you, not all of you. <clears throat> I'm also picking up a Scorpio uh, with a Virgo, a Capricorn, and an Aries. Um, th those Scorpios uh, seem to be confused in a situation, not knowing how to handle something. Those Scorpios, too, are also <clears throat> uh, preoccupied with current legal judgments, legal situations, documents, paperwork, filings. Um, some of those Scorpios are handling um, something to do with a lawsuit as well. Uh, that's some of the Scorpios. Some of the Scorpios are also going through separation and divorce currently. Uh, some of them don't know which way's up, waiting for the other party to respond or make a decision uh, so that they can then be with the person they choose to be with. I also feel that Scorpio is very indecisive currently, trying to decide where to live, where to move to. Uh, Scorpio is not happy. Some of the Scorpios are not happy in their current location or current situation. Uh, some are looking to get out of a situation, and some are looking to build with a situation. How do you know which one's for you? Depends on your Scorpio. Um, Scorpio with an Aries is trying to figure out ways to find balance in a relationship. Scorpio with a, with a Capricorn uh, is trying to figure out how to get out of the situation, how to get the divorce moving, how to get things finalized. Um, and for the others of you on a general, uh, Scorpio, whether that's you or whether that's your partner, um, you're just not happy in a situation right now. Um, right now it feels like you don't know what direction to go in anything. You feel like you're just at a crossroads. You just don't know which way to turn. It's kind of like the Two of Swords where you're still trying to make a decision. Um, or the Two of Pentacles. You know, uh, you're trying to balance your money and your love life at the same time. And you're having difficulty concentrating on either one. Uh, so Scorpio, be aware of that. Also, too... Um, one, one of the Scorpios, you have an ex, or not one of them, but several, whoever it applies to, you have an ex returning Scorpio. Uh, they want to rekindle and restart something they didn't get to finish. It feels that it was cut off shortly, or either you kick someone to the curb or they kicked you to the curb, Scorpio. Um, choosing another one over you. Uh, feels that Scorpio, either you or them, feels like it was a bad decision a bad choice that they made, thinking that the grass was greener on the other side. When they found out, in fact, that that lily pad that they jumped on um, f did not float. It went under. So they d were drowning in a situation. Seems they bit off more than they could chew. Um, Scorpio does have a flirtatious side and enjoys flirting, but is not aware of the consequences uh, from the other party whom they're doing the flirting to. So, Scorpio, be aware of that. When you're flirting, the other person is taking it as if you're interested and want to go out with them or, you know, be intimate with them. Please be aware, not everybody is thinking on the same page as you. Um, also, too, I feel like a lot of Scorpios are working on a puzzle. Um, it just feels like you're either putting a puzzle together and you're trying to find the missing piece. A lot of you Scorpios are still searching for that missing piece or that missing person, uh, that, that perfect someone. You just want someone that's going to make you happy. You're tired of the uh, runaround relationships that you've had, the inconsistencies, uh, the insecurities, and um, the negative speaking. Also, some Scorpios, whether it's you or them, is, is speaking very disrespectful to someone, or you're being spoken to very disrespectful from a Scorpio, which way, whichever way you take it. Um, Scorpio seems to not have uh, a lot of patience at this time and not a lot of respect for the other party. Uh, one Scorpio seems to be uh, narcissistic, um, or or a Scorpio is being played by a narcissist person, someone who is cheating, lying, keeping secrets, and also Scorpio, uh, either you're spying on someone or someone is watching you. Be aware of that, Scorpio. There's a lot of that going on right now. I don't know if it, if it's in the sun, moon, and risings, all that, but I can tell you that. With Scorpio, either you're watching somebody, Scorpio, whether you're on somebody's Facebook, on somebody's Instagram, looking at their friends, trying to go to their friends' pages and look at everything that's going on. Scorpio, what are you doing? Um, you're, you're sabotaging yourself because you're going to see things that aren't going to make sense to you or that are going to be taken out of character 
In other words, a picture maybe with your Scorpio with someone else or your partner Scorpio is with someone else and you're watching them and it looks to be one thing, <clears throat> but it's actually another. Could even be a relative that you see them in a picture with that you're not even aware of. So be careful with what you're doing, Scorpio. Be careful with your investigation. Um, don't go for an FBI job because you're not looking at all the evidence. It seems like all the facts are not in. You're prejudging or pre-illusion. You're making decisions based on your insecurities and your fears rather than on the truth from your mind and your heart. Um, Scorpio, please be guided by your mind this time. Don't allow another partner to take advantage of you, Scorpio. Um, please know that there is your ex coming back in. His motives or her motives feel like they are um, at first at true face, true value, <clears throat> that they are trying to be back with you. But I can also tell you that um, they're offering you their cup. They definitely are offering you their cup at the time. However, you know how Scorpios get indecisive sometimes. Or you get indecisive decisive sometimes. Um, or, or this is your partner who can't seem to make up their mind. Um, once again, your partner is probably trying to make a decision. And again, pay attention to that moon. Because right there, that's where all the secrets are held. That's where all the things that you want to know, all the answers you want to know are right in here. So if you can get to that, if you can get to that moon, although I feel some of you may question your Scorpio or question your partner. Scorpios may question their partner. Good luck because they're clamming up. They don't want to tell you anything. They'll limit you on what they want you to know. They want to know why you need to know certain things. Um, you ask a lot of questions about the person that they were involved with in the past. Um, you also want to know, you know, were they prettier than you? Were they this than you? Did you enjoy being in bed with them more than me? You know, you're asking all kind of questions, Scorpio, that um, is, is showing your insecurities very high. Also, to remember, Scorpio, either you or someone else has an addiction problem and you're either self-medicating with either drugs or alcohol, or you're self-sabotaging yourself. But one way or another, addictions, addictions, addictions are in this picture. And it's either you, Scorpio, or your partner. So be aware, if you are drinking heavily, and I feel that there is some of you Scorpios who are overdoing it, and have been overdoing it for quite some time. Even from your past relationship, Scorpios, um, this has been going on for a while, and this goes back to childhood. This is not even really related to the current situation or to your past relationship. It is related to your childhood. And some of you really need to do some deep root search on your past, on your childhood, on where the disappointments came in, where the rejections came in, Scorpio. When did you start first feeling not good enough, Scorpio? When did you feel that something else or someone else was better than you? When did you always feel... Scorpio, like you weren't going to win, whether it was a contest, whether it was a spelling bee, whether it was um, you against someone else. Scorpio, you're a beautiful person, both inside and out. And if you can't love yourself, how do you expect someone else to? Okay, Scorpio, so I have to tell you that there are three different sessions going on for Scorpio. Scorpio's career, Scorpio's love, and Scorpio's himself, herself. Um, first and foremost, Scorpio, I'm being guided to tell you, take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Make sure you're eating three meals a day, Scorpio. Make sure you're taking the time to rest, even if it's a 10, 15-minute nap. Even if you're just not napping, but lay down somewhere. Let your body know that you're at rest because you're pushing, pushing, pushing. That's all you're doing, Scorpio, is you're pushing yourself to the limit. You're exhausting yourself. Um, you're not sleeping much at night. Um, you're not feeling the way you normally do. Your motives are kind of knocked down. Um, your dreams are getting crushed. Don't allow that, Scorpio, because, Scorpio, you're, you're coming back and having a chance to reunite with someone from your past. Um, however, I do get that, you know, a lot of you still are up at night in your head about this person. You, you can't sleep. You don't know what to do. And, and all the different swords that you see, all these different swords, these are all different thoughts coming in your head, coming in, coming in. 
and, and you don't know which one to think of first. You're so confused whether you stay, whether you go, whether you take them back, you don't take them back. If they're cheating, if they're lying, you have a question. Every single one of those swords is a question. And, and you continually ask yourself those questions. Come on, Scorpio. You know the answers. And a lot of times you've been trying to um, cover things up, again, with the drinking, with self-medicating, things of that nature, whether it's food, alcohol, pills, whatever. Um, stop it. You know, Scorpio, get a, get a grip, wake up, look in the mirror, put some cold water on your face, and say, you know what, today's a new day. You have a chance to rebuild this relationship that you were so in love with this partner. Even though they hurt you, yes, you, you're not sure how to get over that past hurt, but you will, Scorpio. You will learn how to learn to trust again. You have to take that risk, Scorpio, as I tell every single person that I speak to, is that you're only guaranteed two things in life, and that's to pay taxes or to die. So that's it. So sooner or later, you're going to have to pay your taxes. And sooner or later, you know, we're all going to cross that, that rainbow bridge. It's going to happen. But please know, Scorpio, for now, you're not going anywhere. For now, you need to be here. You need to finish with, uh, like I said, your, your lessons, whether it's your major arcana, your life karmic spiritual lessons that are coming, or whether it's the, the minor arcanas that are coming, and it's your trials and tribulations that we all encounter on a daily basis. It's unavoidable. You cannot avoid any situations, good or bad. And don't don't turn your head for the negative things that may happen in your day or your or your week because they're challenges that you need to be taught how to overcome. These two are lessons that you will learn to conquer. <coughs> which will then bring you to, excuse me, another level to be able to handle things much easier. So, Scorpio, those of you at work, your work week is almost over. It's a short week this week. A lot of you are looking forward to that. A lot of you um, are trying to get through each day. A lot of you, like I said, are just clocking in, clocking out. Uh, some of you are looking for a new job. Some of you don't want to be there anymore. Please don't walk out on your job. Some of you I see walking out, being really pissed off about something and walking out. Please do not do that. Um, please know that you, you, you need the security. You, you need to pay for where you're living. Uh, you have other people that depend on you too financially in some way, shape, or form. So please remember to be responsible. Scorpio, this person who you're involved with does love you. Don't ever doubt that they didn't love you because they do. Because they make bad choices and because they have different issues going on or different situations going on or they feel the need uh, to cheat and go out with other people to fill their void that they have feeling that they are not good enough because their insecurities are just as strong, Scorpio. So be aware of that. Does that make it okay for them to cheat? No, I'm not saying that. But I am saying that be aware that we cannot judge other people nor can we change other people. So if you can't accept your partner, Scorpio, the way that they are, then I recommend you find a new partner because the person that needs to be changed is you. Scorpio, look in the mirror and find out what you can do, how you can handle certain situations in a different way. Things must be handled with kid gloves right now for you or the other partner. Things must be handled with kid gloves. You have to take your time. Go through things slowly. Don't rush just to get to that bedroom. That part you already know how to do. That part's easy for you. What you need to do is work on the communication because you know how you guys Hold back on your emotions, your feelings. You don't put it all out there. You don't let them know exactly what you're thinking at the current time. Um, you also don't give them a lot of clarity, the person that you're with, about how you're feeling and where you want this relationship to go. So Scorpio, come on. Bring your emotions out a little bit more. Put your heart out on your sleeve. Let them see it. Let them know that you have love for them, Scorpio, because they want it. They want to be with you. It's worth a try. Even if you were to get hurt in the end, Scorpio, at least you had the time with them and make it the best time. Enjoy your time. Have fun. Live life. You know, be that child again. Don't be so strict and, and everything has to be traditional. Everything has to be right by the book. Everything has to be the rules. We have to have dinner at 5 and we have to be in bed by 10 and, you know, live a little. Let down some of the rules. Try not to be the controller, Scorpio. Try to allow things to take place naturally. For those of you trying to push and, and force a relationship, please just let it happen naturally, and it will. Uh, for those of you who have a partner who just wants to be friends with you, Scorpio, and they don't want a relationship again, they want the, the friends with benefits package. That's up to you individually, Scorpio, but that's not for most Scorpios. That's not what you want. 
Scorpios don't usually like to share what they have. So, you guys, um, be alert and we'll do another reading that's going to come in the middle of the month. And we'll do a follow-up. But please, Scorpio, be aware your partner is coming back. And also be aware someone is watching you from a distance. They want to see what's going on. They are checking out your Facebook page or you're checking out theirs and the Instagram and all the social medias. Someone is asking people about you. You'll hear that ringing in your ear. If you hear that or feel that funny thing in your ear, uh, know that someone is speaking of you. They are asking questions about you. And please know, Scorpio, they love you.